It is a really misty day here in Doncaster. I mean, I can't actually see out of the street, that's how misty it is. It's a nice day to be in the studio again with a good cup of tea and some work to do. So this morning I'm sat doing some more editing. I got most of it done last night, just got a couple more things. Figured I'd do that before I get dressed so then I can focus on the actual orchestration and mixing elements. Sometimes it is good to sit here in your pyjamas and get certain things done because that way you've reached a certain milestone. Also, as you can probably hear, my voice is nowhere near awake yet. But thankfully all the vocals are done, so that's good. Right, it's time to get down to business. My first port of call is to actually play in some counter melody type stuff with like the glockenspiel type sound. And that way, when I've got that melody, I can use that to make the orchestrations for the strings and the piano. At this point, I actually think there's only one section that really needs it in the middle. Because the beginning is just strings and my voice. Then a few different things come in for the second verse, like drums, bass and guitars. But it's just the middle eight that needs something, the break strain in the middle, that needs like a big climax in it. Possibly the full palette of what I've suggested for the orchestration. And then I'm going to bring the dynamics down again for the final verse and sort of wind it down very gradually. But I'm going to try and improvise a counter melody now and see where we get to. I've just taken the picture for the cover art as well as a little bit of a break. I took it actually sat here with all the lighting on me and all the stuff behind me. It's the first shot I think I've done in the studio where it looks like I'm in a studio. So hopefully that'll make a nice cover. It's actually quite rare that I remember to do this on the last day. I think last time when I took it in the mirror, it's because I got the mirror and I was obviously just pleased to have a mirror in here. But today I was like, oh, I'm waiting for something to load. What can I do? So I took a picture of myself with a cover. That's a tradition with a song in seven days that I've stuck with for whatever reason. So there you go. So I've been playing around with the orchestral stuff for a little while now and I've definitely put the sleigh bells in, that was pretty essential and I've just put the Celeste in instead of Glockenspiel it's just got a slightly more Christmassy sound it's something that I kind of wish I'd done a few years ago on You'll Love This Christmas it would have made it sound just a little bit more Christmassy and because I'm focusing on this break strain element I'm trying not to detract from the melody so much and because I've pushed and pulled it in the way that I've sung it, I feel like I might actually just use that melody for the orchestration. So I've played it on the Celeste and I'm just going to try it on the violins just to see what it sounds like. When I set out to do this, I had a totally different idea of what the orchestration was going to be like. But when you've got it in front of you, it's crucial to make those changes to make it work rather than just sticking with ideas because, you know, you said you'd do it. It's a very important part of the creative process for me that not being stuck in a certain way of doing things. When I woke up this morning, my back was absolutely killing me and it was absolutely 100% to do with going to the gym yesterday for the first time. So when I've exercised before and I've maybe put a bit too much strain on my back, I've got my dad to talk me through some yoga and basically I've just done that now and it's always really funny trying to do that in the front room because Dumpling does try to get involved. Dumpling, mate, can we not? <laughs> okay. It makes any time you get on the floor quite fun, to be honest, because he'll just come over and make a fuss of you. But yes, my back feels a lot better now, I can tell you that. It was actually starting to distract me from my work a little bit. Part of the workout that we did was box jumps, and I've never done that before, and that was just ridiculous. I feel like I was using muscles that I've never ever used before. So today, I am definitely feeling it. So the final piece of the jigsaw for the song is the piano and I've deliberately left this until last because I just wanted to use it to fill some space. The kind of sound I'm going for is the piano sound in One For My Baby, the Frank Sinatra song because if you listen to the track, the piano is like right at the back of the mix. It sounds like it's been played across a bar. I've tried my best to emulate that sound, I don't know if you can hear it. Etc. But yeah, the idea is it's got quite a lot of space there already, so the piano's not really forefront like it was in Cheese of Revelation, for example. It actually just slots into the orchestral sound at the back. So it's like me, ABC, and me on guitar just sort of sat at the back of the orchestra, just kind of rhythm section in a way. So it is time for the mixing stage. Now, believe it or not, all the work that I've done so far is making this so much easier. I've played it through and it doesn't actually need a huge amount of attention, which is amazing, really. So let's get mixing. And there we have it, another song finished. Number 11, 
the 11th song from a song in seven days. It's a Christmas song, it's called Just Like Years Before, and it's going to be out very, very soon. As you'll know from watching the vlog from after I finish She's a Revelation, I do actually have to master it for iTunes and Spotify, upload it, and then they give me a date when it's going to be released. So I obviously wrote this Christmas song in November because there are some quite tight deadlines when it comes to those platforms at this time of year. As you can imagine, lots of people are doing this. So it's good that I finished this within a particular time frame because what that means is there's a good chance it'll be on by early December. But obviously until I upload it, I don't know what the date is. But stay with me, keep watching, because as soon as I know what that date is, I will let you know. But once again, I'm really pleased with what I've got out of it. Another creative week, another song written. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. We will return to our regularly scheduled programming tomorrow with the daily vlog. Plenty of exciting things coming up. As we enter the month of December, there's going to be some pretty exciting festive content coming your way. So, it's good night from me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.